What's up everybody D-Man back welcome to a brand new video and today we're going to be doing another Godzilla King of the Monsters news and updates. Chapter times in the description below, skip to whichever story you want. Alright, let's see what we got. We're gonna start out here with some epic art. This first one comes to us from Christian on Twitter. This is his Godzilla vs. Biollante art. Pretty sweet. Kinda reminds me of that other famous Godzilla vs. Biollante 2014 art that floats around, so that's pretty cool. We also have one from Altier Andrew, who sent us his King of the Monsters picture. That's a fun one. Very nice hand-drawn. I really like what he did with Mothra. I think Mothra looks great in this picture. I think Mothra probably looks the best, but I like all of it. I think he did a good job on all of it. Next up, we have Adrian's Godzilla King the monsters poster this one's a pretty cool one as well i really like rodan here godzilla looks pretty sweet too but rodan's probably my favorite one on this one i think rodan just looks awesome but again they all look great i love the detail on the atomic breath too that's really cool rans king Ghidorah. this has been one that i've wanted to show off for a while this one is so good not only is it just really good with the drawing but the coloration here is amazing. Like his his sculpting, I don't is that what you call it? What do you call it? His line work, I have no idea. I'm, I don't know. Is really good. The design is really cool. He really he, he did a great job capturing the 2019 Ghidorah design. And then on top of that, the coloration is amazing, and the smoke looks like old school like painting esque smoke. This is awesome. He did such a good job with this. You can see uh you get you got your like watermark here, Flora saying 60. One, I think, I don't, I guess, um, I'm not sure. We have one from Mike Sabatos. Uh, sorry, I mispronounced your name. This one is really good. Like, this is amazing. This is a Godzilla 2014 attacking a factory. I'm not sure how long this artwork has existed, but it, it looks amazing. A very menacing, very huge Godzilla here in the background. That's like Godzilla Earth proportions right there. That is scary. I, I, I love that. I love that imagery. That'd be great to see in a movie. We have a set from Pigeon OC. I, I think that's how you say their name. This is their Mothra set. I did show off their initial Mothra drawing before, but they followed it up with one of Mothra flapping her wings down with lightning striking around her. And then they just put out a whole heckin' set. They have Mothra shooting lightning out of her wings, Mothra flying, and then a flaming Mothra, which just looks awesome. I, I do not know how people are this talented. It's so cool. Speaking of really cool talent, let's show off what is definitely the most detailed fan sculpture I have ever seen for King of the Monsters. This is amazing. It's a Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah statue. It, it looks really cool. The way they painted it is really cool. I love that Godzilla's stepping on one of Ghidorah's heads. That's awesome. This one just looks awesome. Yeah, overall. I thought this was like an actual thing at first. This, this thing looks very professional. I thought it was actually being sold as a figure set, but it is not. This is a custom. Pretty impressive stuff. Godzilla celebrated Lunar New Year. For those of you who don't know, that's also more commonly known as Chinese New Year. But all my buddies call it Lunar New Year because none of my friends are Chinese. <laughs> this video probably won't go out on Lunar New Year, so don't expect it to be relevant. When I'm talking, it's probably I'll probably get this video up on uh, on Wednesday rather than the Tuesday that I'm recording it. So it probably won't be. I think Lunar New Year is today, right? The fifth. Yeah. So I think it's tonight. But I think this video will probably go up tomorrow from when I'm recording it, which is today for you guys. Whoa mind blown unless you watch it in the future in which case then it was then not now yeah these are really really cool these are official godzilla king of the monsters posters we have one of godzilla that looks pretty sweet uh i'd assume the text on screen just says godzilla's name but then of course you do have the famous miss title or, or i guess secondary title for the movie which is godzilla 2 king of the monsters we covered that in the last news video yeah this one's awesome we have one from king Ghidorah, which looks really cool but Ghidorah is facing away from the camera i wonder why i wonder why they made him turn away uh Ghidorah has spikes all over his back on this one. I don't think he actually does in the movie. Otherwise, we would have seen that on the SHMA figure. But pretty interesting that they put spikes on his back here. We also have one from Mothra. Mothra looks very white in this picture. That's very interesting. Her wings are also transparent, which I find to be interesting. We should keep our eye out for that. This Mothra doesn't even quite look like the Mothra we see in the in the movie and the trailers. So I wonder if like not only is she gonna be able to change the color of her wings, but it might have slight coloration changes to her fur as the movie goes on that'd be pretty interesting i'd be okay with that i think it's cool though and then lastly we have our boy rodan swirling around in some what do you call that i don't know ribbon yeah i don't know what would that be a ribbon i'm not
not sure. That one looks really cool. I would have liked Rodan to have flaming wings here, but I guess you can't win every battle, can ya? That's a really cool set. I think that's awesome that they're celebrating Lunar New Year. Uh, and I'm glad because we got some awesome artwork from it, so nice. We have a small figure announcement here. I'm not sure what these are, but there's like Japanese, I think these are like vending machine toys. Like the kinds that you get in your King Supers at the at the front aisle. They're they're your little Godzilla toys, but they're like a mystery egg, I think. I think that's what they are. But they have announced a whole new set, including Godzilla 1954, Shin Godzilla, Godzilla 2019, which is, we all know, the 2014 design with new dorsal fins, and then King Ghidorah, which looks awesome. That King Ghidorah looks good for the type of figure it is, I guess you could say. I'm wondering what these spikes are by his feet. That's pretty interesting. I think it's just rocks. But that's all we got for that. Just just some tiny figure news. Next up, we have a picture of Wonderfest's 2019. Yeah, Wonderfest 2019. What would this be? Winter Summerfest 2019? I don't know. We have our first look at the Monarch symbol for the new Wonderfest. It's just going to be used for advertising. Wonderfest is coming up in a few weeks. It'll be a big toy fair where they're going to have lots of reveals. Pretty cool logo. Got some interesting Godzilla art in the middle here. I'd like to see that art fully done without the Monarch logo on top of it. That'd be pretty interesting to see what that looks like. And in the same vein as Wonderfest, there is a toy fair in about two weeks or just under two weeks, so get excited for that. We're expecting some reveals from NECA there. I think they're probably going to debut Godzilla and Mothra there for 2019. I'm not sure if they're going to announce Rodan and King Ghidorah there or if they are just like going to keep pretending that they're not going to do it. I'm certain that they'll do Rodan and King Ghidorah. I feel like at this point, why would you not, you know? So I feel like they'll probably do it, but I, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% certain on that, but I'm pretty sure we will get more than likely a reveal of Mothra and Godzilla there. I think they have confirmed that, so I'm excited for that. But yeah, keep an eye out for that. That's under two weeks away from now, so we'll have something to talk about then. All right, guys, the last news we're going to cover for the episode is an interview, or it's not really an interview. It's more of a podcast, a live podcast done between O'Shea Jackson Jr., who plays Barnes and Godzilla King of the Monsters, and my friend Chris from Toho Kingdom. This was hosted on Gormoru Island. It was a pretty fun stream. I wasn't able to tune in live. I was busy doing things, but I watched it, the full thing, and I'll break down some of the things we, that they talked about. In the beginning, O'Shea mentions how he loves Gigan, which is <laughs> awesome. He actually, he does know a lot about Godzilla, which surprised me. He was able to talk quite a bit about uh, what years certain movies came out. He was able to talk about Final Wars. So I don't think he's one of those phonies that's just like, oh, I like the character when they've never seen one of the films. I, I genuinely believe that this is a Godzilla fan, which makes me very happy that we have Godzilla fans who worked on King of the Monsters. I mean, I already knew we did. We had Alan Maxson and Jason Lyles and everyone else and, and Michael Doherty, who obviously were Godzilla fans, but it just makes me happy to know that we have even more. It makes me happy to know that this movie was made by fans. He loves Guy again. He also then went on to say that the final battle in this movie will drive fans nuts and Godzilla will be so OP in the ending that Kong has no chance. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know, guys. I really, you guys know on this channel, you guys have probably figured out by now, I kind of, I want Kong to win, but I don't think he's going to be able to. It just, it just seems unrealistic. Godzilla is, is so incredibly strong in this new movie, it would seem. Kong is going to have to bring it. He is going to really have to show some intelligence in order to beat Godzilla. Then O'Shea Jackson Jr. said he might be at G-Fest. He said, once he found out what the convention was, he said he wanted to go. You know, it's not confirmed, but it'd be cool if he went. Then he said he's not a huge fan of the goofy Showa Godzilla movies. He says he doesn't like it when Godzilla jumps around. But hey, don't bag on my Showa Godzilla, okay? The Millennium Godzilla did it too. Don't forget. Don't forget. I never will forget what happened in Godzilla vs. Megaguirez. <laughs> no one talks bad about my Showa Godzilla. What is this? He said he specifically calls out King Kong vs. Godzilla, my favorite movie of all times, as his, uh, as his least favorite Godzilla movie. So I guess we're gonna have to fight now. <laughs> oh, what a fight that'd be. That guy could kill me in a Oh, in an instant. <laughs> he then says he doesn't like how ugly Shin Godzilla is and he doesn't like the tail laser either, which fair enough. I'm not going to judge him. I'm not a big fan of the big neck Shin Godzilla has either. I think it's kind of weird, but hey, I mean, the design grew on me. It's one of my favorite designs now. Back in the day, I used to bag on that thing all the time because I didn't like it. So it grows on you. And also, yeah, that tail laser is pretty stupid. I can't blame him for that one, but Shin Godzilla is still one of the greatest Godzilla movies ever. Fight me. Ah, uh, dang it. I just challenged everybody to fight me. First, O'Shea Jackson Jr. is going to fight me. Now, you guys, oh, this has turned out to be an episode, hasn't it? I like this quote. I just wrote this one down because I thought it was funny where O'Shea Jackson Jr. just says, Michael Doherty is the man. 
man. And he goes on like a whole extended thing about how, uh, how Mike Doherty apparently was a bit of a prankster on set and was a lot of fun to work with, which is fun to hear. Maybe we'll get some sick BTS then on the on the Blu-ray in a few months. I guess in like a year actually, huh? I don't know. I don't know when the Blu-ray will come out. And then O'Shea says he likes Godzilla big and bad. I agree. I, I definitely agree with that. My favorite Godzillas are always the ones that are more evil. They talk a little bit about the anime and O'Shea says he he thinks the anime films are just okay. He hasn't seen Planet Eater yet, but he said from the first two, he thought it was just all right. He didn't think it was anything really groundbreaking though. And again, fair enough. I've pretty much said the same thing. I do like the anime quite a bit, but you know, I'm not, I'm not saying it's like the greatest pinnacle Godzilla and nothing like that. It's, it's good, but at the same time, I, I completely understand why people don't like it. Apparently, all of Ghidorah's scenes were shot at night because O'Shea says whenever Ghidorah was on set was particularly challenging because they would always have to film. And then he said they would be going to bed when the sun would be rising on days Ghidorah was involved, meaning that at least whenever Barnes is interacting with Ghidorah or on screen in a fight with Ghidorah, you know, at the same time, it's a night shoot, which, which I find pretty interesting. I kind of assumed that Ghidorah wouldn't be seen in the daytime that much, and it does sound like that will be the case, is that he'll be mostly a nighttime monster, which is okay, especially because we hear that apparently Ghidorah is going to be infused with lots of horror elements. Michael Doherty, of course, being a horror director, is going to be implementing his horror style onto Ghidorah, which I'm all for. That should be awesome to see how scary he makes Ghidorah. It's gonna be hard. My favorite Ghidorah incarnation came out in 2019 for us Americans, which that is the anime Ghidorah. If you didn't know, I really like what they did with anime Ghidorah other than the design. I'm not a fan of the design, but I really like the presentation of anime Ghidorah. Let's see if we can get two of my favorite Ghidorah incarnations in 2019. I'm excited to look through the movie a whole bunch of times. Apparently there's lots of Easter eggs in the film. O'Shea said that on set he would be finding pictures that they had on the set like uh, like on the wall or whatever and then he'd be finding text written around the screen and and around the scene i guess and i guess all of it was just easter eggs to something else so i'm really excited to see what we got going on in this film and uh, i'm dying to make some easter egg videos i guess i don't know I'm just excited to watch the movie. Violante is apparently one of his favorite films, which is cool. I guess he's pretty in line with the Japanese that also love that film. And then he says, you know, we can get more MonsterVerse films in the future, more kaiju movies in general. If people turn out to see the next two MonsterVerse films, th yes, yeah, that is very true. He even then goes on to say, don't watch Avengers, watch Godzilla. I would say, just watch them both. Yeah, yeah that's what I'll be doing. Hooray, but definitely prioritize Godzilla because I'm okay with more MonsterVerse. I think it'd be cool. And then finally, he says if he were to bring any Toho monsters into the MonsterVerse, if he had any choice over any of them, he'd pick Gigan because Gigan's his favorite and he'd also pick Mecha Godzilla, which is cool. All right, guys, that'll do it for this one. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. D-Man, out.